Good energy, everyone. It's Bizman Dan. I'm here to show you all how you can automate your Turo and hire your car business by using Turo's new native messaging app and using carsync.io. So let's get busy. So as you see on Turo, they have this new um, message um, schedule that you can now automate your business by using the message scheduler. Um, and as you see, you can save time by scheduling your frequent uh, sent messages. So once you create these uh, message templates, then you can send them out according to your specific trips, events, and then apply them to the listing. Um, so as you can see here, you can customize your templates, then schedule those templates, and then apply them to those uh, listings and deliveries. So here we go. Here you will create uh, a new... And you'll decide when you want it. So decide when you want that message to go out. So we're going to say we want this to go as soon as I confirm it. Or once the trip is uh, booked, immediately after um, it's booked, I want to also have this applied to all of my trips. I can have it to apply to a trips with um, a certain delivery type. So uh, meaning if it's going to an airport or a certain um, location. Um, then uh, to trips with no delivery um, or if it's custom, I mean like a guest one or this one again is if it's going to the airport. So this would be uh, both of them and then this is a uh, custom. Right. So here we're going to apply this to all of these trips and then we're just going to test it and say like new automation message. All right. But here's where you um, have your hey, welcome to. Um, so and so rentals. Uh, we hope you are excited about your trip and then whatever other you know information you want to send them. Um, but this is what you can um, use, and then you can also um, auto generate the customer um, variables. So here's our here is some examples. So you can say, hey, first name, which would be uh, with the first name of your customer. So hey, Emily, I hope you're excited for your trip. Um, you, uh, or hey, Emily, I hope you're excited for uh, renting the vehicle named the 2020 Tesla. Um, and then you can say, um, I look forward to meeting you at, and then you can use the reservation time, which could be 10 o'clock. Um, and then this is just certain variables that you can add into it as you go with your message. So, um, I'll actually do that now. So we'll go, hey, and then we're gonna go first name. I hope you are excited for your trip. I look forward to meeting with you so or um look, meeting with you at and then you can actually choose the time and then the location that they should be meeting you at and say I will have the and you can choose the vehicle that they're renting. I have the clean out gas up and ready for you. And of course, you can uh, spice it up by adding some emojis or adding some other things, stuff like that. Um, but this is how things will go. So if we overview it, it will say, hello, Emily, I hope you're excited for your trip. I look forward to meeting with you at 10 a.m. at the um, L.A. Fitness Gym or parking lot or Target parking lot. Um, I'll have the 2020 Tesla clean, cleaned out, gassed up and ready for you when you arrive. And so this is the message that you can have automated to send every time somebody books a trip with you. Um, and then there's other ways that you can um to have this uh, triggered to go off but as we uh will have that set um you can see how that could be uh an option okay so then after the message is created then you can say what listings you want it for save it and then you can create the template so then now once this is uh saved and generated this is what it will go but i already have these so i don't want this to save have it um so i don't want this to save because i already have messages saved um for my car sync and i don't want to mess up um the automations that i already have um but with that said um, we're going to jump into car sync io and see how you can do the same thing so here's how you can have um you know your automation set up here's some examples of them 
Um, but when this is what you can do for the same thing. You can say hello. Go to the renter's information. First name. I look forward to meeting with you at and then you can choose the reservation time and then just you know just say at the location and then you can say I and then choose the vehicle Alright, and then again, if we go over here, say hello, Emily. I look forward to meeting with you at 10 a.m. at the Target parking lot. Target parking lot. I will have the 2020 Tesla gassed up and ready for you when you arrive. And then this is how you can schedule it um, immediately after the reservation is booked um, or after it is requested. So because as soon as this requested, I will fire off a mess, a welcome message, letting them all the the guidelines and things that we have in place uh, for walkout rentals and um, any damage uh, claims and fees and things that is involved, and let them know um, about all those things ahead of time before we confirm. So as soon as they uh, send in a request, that message goes out. We usually get something back saying, "Yeah, that's fine. Um, I completely understand. I agree with everything. I'm looking forward to uh, uh, to the rental." And then I'll go ahead and confirm. And then you have another one that say after it's confirmed, which is the booking, you can send something else like, hello, Emily. Um, I hope you're, you know, this can go off again. Um, so this is things that you can have it. And then you can further go into it with different filters to say um, conditions, meaning um, for certain vehicles, certain locations, um, certain extras, certain things like that is what you can add to it. Um, to further um, enhance your automation. Uh, so, for example, if I only want. A message to go out for people who are um, coming into from the airport um, and then I'll send them a certain um, set of um, messages. If I'm doing an automated uh, or a remote check in or check out, then I'll send um, a different set of automations and also add the trip photos into it, which would be. Can you please send um, a screenshot of your license um, um, and uh, yeah, just a, a front uh, shot of their license so that we can verify it with their um their reservation through Toro when their start their reservation um begins. Uh so this is certain things that you can filter and add to further enhance these. Um and then you can override it meaning if certain things happen like if they're coming in at a certain time, don't let this message go off. So as you add the override, this is again what you can say for the different overrides and the conditions of what you can set for it. So um this is very powerful. Again, you can change it for a higher car or a Toro um, or you can use car sync IO, which also goes further into your data and dashboards and your your tracking of your revenue, which is very good in your analytics. Um, and they also keep track of your tracking. So it's uh, something to definitely look into to automate your business and help you again work more on your business and not in your business uh, and definitely could boost your ratings. Um, and can help you feel more comfortable that your renters are getting the information and the messages that they need at the right time. So that way that they're doing, they're having a seamless check-in and check-out and a great rental experience when they come um, to rent from you. Uh, so if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please uh, subscribe um, so you can look at uh, future videos. Um, and again, until next time, stay busy.